All right, YouTube, it is November 26, 2023, and this is Stonebreaker Does Stuff, and I'm posting a non-e-bike video. I did mention at some point in a previous video that eventually there'd be some other type of videos, but it is rainy, it is snowy, and it is cold in West Central Indiana, and the forecast for the rest of the week does not look much promising for an e-bike ride. So more than likely, there might be one or two videos that come out for e-bikes over the next couple months. Videos are definitely going to slow down, but I wanted to put something out here. So what we're doing today, and what you're either going to watch or not watch, is a completion of over 30 years where I have been trying to defeat Iron Mike Tyson in the original Punch-Out for the Nintendo Entertainment System. As I recall, as a young Stonebreaker does stuff, I was probably seven or eight, and I believe I would always get to Tyson, but I could never take Tyson down. And as I've grown into a man, that's always hurt me, you know? I can never take down Mike Tyson, so what better way to put out YouTube content than to kick Iron Mike Tyson's ass using a $5 USB controller that I found in a drawer that I did not know I had. Um, but I, Stonebreaker Does Stuff, am going to take on Mike Tyson's punch out. And when I get to Mike Tyson, I'm gonna kick his ass. All right, so what can we say about Glass Joe? We're both 38, the man has not won a match. 110 pounds, when you're as tall as he is, he's, he's like seven foot taller than me. But he only weighs 110 pounds, so I'm not weighing him by 80 pounds. He's got to be on the stuff, you know, and I don't mean the good stuff that's going to bulk you up. I think he's on the, the bad stuff, so this was the first victim. I had no problem. Look at that big right hand. I dropped him down. Referee Mario getting a three, four, five. At this point, it's just going to be academic, you know. No problem with Glass Joe. I think that drops him down to 0 and 100. He did catch me with that right hand. Now, no excuses, folks, but I have him playing with a piece of trash controller. Also trying to learn the controls. On this controller, you got to hit the buttons like really hard and actually press down a lot. Sometimes when you go to move left or move right, you'll block. Sometimes when you go to block, you move left or right. So if I had an original NES controller, I could probably use like a PS5 controller, but I just kicked his ass again. Um, but again, trying to use this $5 controller that's been sitting in a drawer for probably four or five years untouched. Um, I do get better, but as you see right here, I think if you lose to this jobber, you don't even need to be playing Nintendo. So I think that's the second knockout. That's the third. Mario calls for the TKO. Let's go to number two. And here we are with the second fight. It looks like against my drunk uncle Dan. I don't recall my drunk uncle Dan being in this game 30 years ago, but obviously he was. I must have just not paid attention to it. Um, but drunk uncle Dan, look at him. Head can't even stay still. He is an alcoholic for sure. Probably fighting to pay the bills. Got to pay for that Bud Light. Second fight, I didn't have a lot of trouble with him. I think he hits me with a couple shots. We're going to show you the whole fight just because it wasn't that long. You can see he's trying to hit me with them lefts. I'm just coming back with the rides. He's taller than me. I'm climbing the ladder. He did hit me with the shot there. You saw. Um, there you go. I had him frozen in time. You're going to see a second shot. He hit me twice. He hit me three times, actually. Those alcoholics, they get violent when they've had a few beers. But that third shot really woke me up. There you see I kicked his ass. Referee Mario again. I think he was counting pretty slow that time. Mario says it was an 8. I think it was a 10. Um, Drunk Uncle Dan is back on his feet. Tries to hit me with a European uppercut and this is when I just destroy him left right left right I mean all my training I'm doing with my trainers really helping me here because these guys are just roadblocks you know they're just guys that I've got to get through to get my revenge on Mike Tyson so he's been knocked down twice Mario's gonna let him get knocked down the third time you see uppercut misses and I just beat the bejesus out of him I'm 2-0 on my way to Mike Tyson. That's who I want. There you see Mario. TKO. So I'm 2-0. I'm ready for the next competitor. Alright, so it looks like back in the early 90s and the late 80s, they give you title fights after two matches. And I'm facing the champion 
the Tokyo's best Elvis impersonator. Again, I don't recall that name being in here, but if he's a champion and I'm going to think title match, we're going to go for it. So this was the third fight. I love how my tights go from white to green magically. And this guy, if you remember the game, every guy has like a little technique that they do. It helps you out. Uh, so this guy's eyebrows, pre-Dwayne The Rock Johnson, his eyebrows go crazy when he wants to kick your ass. And he loves that right uppercut. He just can't seem to hit it because I'm juking and jiving and beating the living hell out of him. And watch this. This is where the controller is jacking me up. Block, block, block. Yeah, so um, he kicked my ass and I was hitting block, but it wasn't blocking. So I'm going to blame the controller all day, but you can hit me as many times as you want. I'm still going to kick your ass. I'm not going to lose to some Elvis impersonator in my third fight. That's not going to happen. So I'm going to give the Elvis impersonator from Tokyo, the number one rated Elvis impersonator from Tokyo, I'm going to give him a little bit of credit. He gave me a little bit of a problem. And when I was eight years old, I don't think he was a problem. But at 38, he was a problem. Here you see him steroiding out just left and right. I was blocking that, but I still got the hell kicked out of me. Took two rounds. Um, you know, he's moving around. Mario's shocked that I'm still struggling with the <laughs> Tokyo's greatest Elvis impersonator. It is a title fight. If you saw his record, go back. Look at his record. He only had one defeat. So, I mean... Maybe the competition in Tokyo isn't what it is when you're fighting me, but he gave it a hell of a go. And I think the second round is where I just took control. You know, I was banging down on the controller. Look at me juking and jiving. Watch this. Watch this right here. I'm like, boom. I'm showing you guys. I'm going to block. Ready? Block. Three, four, five. Okay. And then I fucked up. So now, but it's okay. I, we all fuck up in life. I didn't fall down. I hit some power punches. Look at this. I'm going to end him right here. That's got to be a TKO, right, Mario? No. Mario's going to give him a chance. So, ended up kicking this guy's ass. I want to show you guys the knockout, though, because I felt like it was pretty impressive. Like, you can watch Mike Tyson videos in real life. There's the TKO, baby. I'm the champion. When you're a champion, if you want to improve, you can only do one thing, and that's train. So, I'm going to go do some training. All right, so it looks like we got a titled fence against a creepy Instagram dad. Uh, he's coming at me with some flowers in his mouth. He must think I'm one of his daughter's teenage friends. Uh, he doesn't understand that I'm a champion, and we're going to fight for a title. And now you see I've upgraded my game to the blue pants, and I don't know if the Instagram creepy dad knows how to fight. There he goes, finally giving me some competition here. I'm just berating him with these lightning fists left and right all day. I don't think he came prepared. Again, I think he was thinking we were going to meet for some pizza. You know, creepy Instagram father and all. Another person that I don't remember being in this video game 30 years ago, but I do remember dropping that man to his stomach. Mario putting a count on. He gets to his feet, though. Does hit me with a couple, couple right hands. I mean, he's bitch slapping me a little bit. I'm a little tired. I'm getting my shit rocked right now. The Instagram dad was the first one to knock me down, but look, not even a two count. He gave me some problems, but in the end, he went down like everyone else. You know, I think that's what I needed. I've been a little cocky here. I've had a easy fights, and I've had a championship gold around my waist. So now, as you can see again, just left and right, he's spitting shit everywhere. He's down on the ground for the second time. I think Mario needs to put the man in handcuffs, maybe call... Dateline NBC, Chris Hansen. Oh, I guess the Chris Hansen comment is what pissed him off. I'm still just fighting them left and right. I don't go for the body. When I'm going to punch you, I'm just going to punch you right on your chin. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how many teenage children's friends that you try to get with, Mr. Creepy Instagram Dad. I just kicked your ass 
first title defense, one step closer to kicking Mike Tyson's ass. Uh, we got to face the Wish.com Butterbean. Could have swore he had a different name 30 years ago, but I'm going to fight him. First guy that has a weight advantage. I'd say he's got a pretty good weight advantage, too. So this is where I hate to ruin the rest of the video, but this is where my downfall starts. I could not remember how to beat this guy. I didn't have my phone with me. You'll see. And it actually, the program I was using to record my PC while I was doing this, it quit working. I don't know if there's a time limit. I don't know what happened, but I believe I was in the middle of a fight. I was kind of remembering how to beat this guy. Like he raises his arm, he opens his mouth. And I couldn't remember, I think you have to hit him like in the belly or something. But again, the stupid ass controller, the stupid ass recording software, and this stupid ass 400 pound wish.com butterbean just was way too much. Look at him dancing around. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. I'm in trouble. Hey, I'm still fighting, but I am in trouble. He's missing with some of those rights. Lefts. I got my rhythm here, like I understand how to block. Save by the round. So we went to round two with this big bastard. And as you can look right there, Carl Winslow with some inspiring in between round motivation here, trying to get my ass up and tell me to go ride an e-bike. I don't know if that's what I pay him for. Uh, Wish.com Butterbean though, ready to kick my ass in round two. And you're gonna see that is exactly what happens. Now, no excuses. I've made excuses for every fight, but, well, he just kicked my ass right there. During the course of this match, I don't know if it was the program I was, he's still kicking my ass. I don't know if it was the program I was using that was recording my PC gameplay, or if something popped up and it made me stop recording, uh, but the damn game just completely stopped. So I was on a mission. First off, I wanted to beat this bastard because I was gonna grab my phone and I was gonna like Google, hey, please remind me how to beat this guy. I know you hit him and then you hit him in the belly because at some point in this video you're gonna see me do that. But again, the controller is a pain in the ass. I need to get a legit NES controller that is not cheaply made. Retro Clinic, or uh, Retro Ink, your controllers suck by the way. And I'm gonna blame my lack of beating Mike Tyson. There we go, look, I hit him. His pants fell. And then I'm just fucking doomed. And as we start the third round, unfortunately, first off, look at Carl Winslow. He's not supposed to punch me like that. I don't know where he learned to do that, punching my shoulder. Um, but the next round is where the system messed up. I had goals to get to Iron Mike Tyson. I still had several guys that I can beat. I know I can beat them. Just got to remember how to do it. So I'm going to come back with the part two. Spoilers. It freezes at the end, so you don't see me get my ass kicked, you don't see me take a loss, but you don't see me handling the big man a loss. So, as always, thanks for watching. Appreciate you spending your time helping me waste my time. This was something a little bit different. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe I'll come up with a part two. Thanks for watching.